Is there a misconception of the fact that when we become famous that we have these beautiful, perfect lives and that nothing is ever on a low? It's, it's, it's a bad conception because then people always think that you have to be this grand old person that's just happy about life and everything because what, we got money? Money doesn't make you happy. It never did. I mean, history will tell you that. And fame certainly doesn't make you happy. You know, people will tell you that we're famous. I think that we all, as artists, because we're highly sensitive people, mm -hmm. um, and this machine around us, this so-called music industry, is such a demonic uh, thing. Uh, it's it sacrifices people's lives and and their their essences. Uh, and that's it, dropping a dime. I mean, how did you feel when you heard that Sony? I think it was in back in the UK, had Jack the Prices <laughs> up with Whitney's album it reminds within, me, within a, an hour or so of yeah, the time. Yeah, that reminds me of the time I had a manager once who said to me, actually said to me, you know, you're worth more money dead than alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, I'm just, by the grace of God, stand by here, because I could have easily, easily, because of a lot of pressure from uh, the label I was with at the time, um, I went through a really, really rough time um, where I didn't want to go outside, didn't want to be seen, didn't want to be around. I really did. And like, that is a little bit of why I cut my hair is because I really want to be my authentic self, yes. like, a hundred percent. And so it hurts, you know, when I don't feel like I can. Um, Did you ever have some bouts where Katie just couldn't, didn't want to go on? Yeah, I, I uh, wrote a song about it. That's what I guess I do. That's how I process. Uh, is I write songs? And you get rid of those feelings. Those well, yeah. Feelings. Some of them. Some of them don't come out okay. fully, and that's why I still have, I still do the work. Which song is that? What lyric comes to your mind? By the grace of God. Okay. They're very close to you. They're very close. They're heartfelt. It's hard, like I say, get on tour. Okay. And it's hard because I'm ashamed. Oh. Controlled him. They controlled him, they did what they wanted, and it was very difficult for him to say no, no, no. You must have seen this happening. Was there anything that you could do or say to Michael to change that situation? It's very, very difficult because in situations such as that one, we've tried so many times to uh, intervene, and it's not always that easy because they keep everybody at bay. They keep everyone away, actually. Everyone. How did they do that? By controlling. And I, and I know because I have been in a controlling and abusive relationship. But by controlling him, controlling his thoughts, control what he does, not letting him, giving orders, not letting anyone through the gates, not letting anyone near security, things of that nature. And this way they have him and they control, control whatever he does.
Latoya, are you going to be attending Dr. Murray's court case? Absolutely. What do you think about him uh, delaying everything? Oh, please, Latoya, what kind of sentence should he receive, Latoya? Death penalty. That's what he no, should be on the firing. They murdered my brother, and they know who they are. It's not just Dr. Murray, I promise you that. It's more people involved, and they know exactly who they are, and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what's happening and what's going on. It's well, more than just Dr. Murray that's involved in this. Well, will justice be served?